Hey, what's up? My name is Dominique and welcome to today's video. Today, I'm going to be doing my makeup using the trendiest and most viral makeup products from 2023. These are makeup products that you simply could not escape this year. This video is to honor the year of 2023 and all the beauty trends that have come out of it. And today, we are going to be combining them and creating a full look using the most trendy makeup products out of the entire year. So if you're curious to see how this look is gonna turn out, let's get started. Peace out, 2023. You have been a crazy year, but this one is is for you. Let's get started on this beat, shall we? Right away, the first product I am obsessed with, okay? The internet really got me on this one. This is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in the shade Vanilla Beige. This product right here is just amazing, but really the reason why I love this one so much is because of how it tastes. To me, the vanilla flavor is just chef's kiss. It's so good. I've gone through multiple tubes of this already, so that already tells you how much I love it. Some things go viral for a really good reason. Others, not so much. <laughs> Next up, we have a fan favorite. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Nice in My Dew Drops. And baby, this stuff was so popular this year, it was actually crazy. To me, is this the best Nice in My Serum? No, but it does feel really good on the skin and it also gives your skin a beautiful glow. So before makeup, it's a great product to use. But if I wanted a niacinamide serum specifically for skincare benefits, I would not choose this one. But pairing it under makeup, it works really well and it's great for that. Or if you're just starting off into skincare, I would say that this is also a really good option for you. But you can definitely see how it gives the skin just a beautiful glow. And for that, I like it. So the next product that I want to talk about, I don't actually have, but I have its twin little sister, okay? These are the Drunk Elephant Be Goldie Bright Drops. So the product that went insanely viral from Drunk Elephant this year was the bronzing drops. I mean, at Sephora, they were sold out for literally months. It was insane, actually. Thanks to Miss Alex Earl, am I right? I mean, she honestly is a reason for most of these trends this year. I'm not even kidding. So that is also crazy. How can one person be so influential? But I do have the bright drops and the bright drops come in the exact same packaging as a bronzing drop. So it's basically the exact same thing, except this adds a highlighting glow to your skin versus bronzing. I'm just gonna apply a little bit to my cheeks. I think I added way too much. I definitely added way too much. Now to me, Drunk Elephant isn't one of my favorite skincare brands. I like a few of their products, but I'm not obsessed. Now this product specifically gives your skin the most beautiful glow. After you apply it to your skin though, it leaves your fingers just a bit shimmery. So for that, it's kind of like, eh. But I know you can see how beautiful and glowy my skin looks right now. And when you pair these two insanely viral and glowy products together, your skin is gonna look like a glazed donut. But before I get into the foundation, I'm actually going to do my eyeshadow first because I always love doing my eyeshadow first because I hate when eyeshadow fallout gets onto my foundation so I just do it first to avoid all that. And the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be using today is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes that was released this year and this is the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 3 eyeshadow palette. I'm not going to go too in depth with this look just because it's not a specific eyeshadow tutorial video. If you do want to see an eyeshadow tutorial with this palette, no worries, I got you. I will link it right here on this video for you because I did create a tutorial using Using the palette. So definitely go check that out if you're interested. But every time I do my eyeshadow, I always start off with an eyeshadow primer and this is just the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. And honestly, I've been using this to prime my eyeshadow so much recently and it's just perfection for eyeshadow primer. So I really love this palette for two reasons. One, they're all matte shades, no shimmers, and they're just gorgeous neutral colors. Second, I love it because there are two undertones in these shadows. We have a cool row right here and then this row right here are all warm shades. Shades. And honestly, I love how these eyeshadows build on each other. They look so rich and pigmented. And I hate to say this, but I think that I like this one a little bit more than the all matte makeup by Mario eyeshadow palette. And that's saying a lot because I love that eyeshadow palette as well, but these just build and look a lot more rich on the eye. So honestly, Patrick Ta did his thing with this palette. And also, can we talk about how Patrick Ta has had a huge year in the makeup industry this year? But we'll get into that, don't worry. So right now, I'm just dipping into this shade right here, and I'm applying it all into my crease using windshield wiper motions and a super fluffy eyeshadow blending brush. And then when there's nothing else on my brush, I'm just gonna flick it out towards the tail of my eyebrow. And I'm I'm also going to bring the shade all the way up to my eyebrow just so I can have the smoothest blend. And since I'm using a really light color, you shouldn't really be able to tell. And I'm going to keep all the darker shades lower so that it doesn't go all the way up to my eyebrow. So don't worry. Now I'm going to be using a slightly more tapered fluffy eyeshadow blending brush that's just a little bit smaller than the first one. And I'm just going to move down the row and I'm going to be using a mixture of this shade and this shade just to combine them to deepen up the crease. And I'm going to keep it lower than the first shade that I applied because we want the first 
darker shade to just have its moment right there so it looks super nice and blown out. And if you ever see some harsh lines, don't worry, just go back in with the first brush and the first shade that you used and then you can help blend everything out. Look at this, it turned into an eyeshadow tutorial. What did I tell you? I just can't help myself. So this is the eye look that I have going on so far, but don't worry, it's not done yet. I still have the lower lash line, but in order to do that, I gotta start on my base. All right, so for primers, I've got one that I love so much and it was also super viral this year. This is the Refai Glow and Sculpt Face Primer. This is such an innovative primer. I have not seen anything like this on the market, so I really love it for that reason. And all you do is squeeze out the product and it has a little facial roller on it. So you just roll the product directly onto your face and it feels really nice when you do that. It feels a little cooling as well and it gives your skin such a good glow. This primer also has a little bit of grip to it, so it's gonna help your makeup last all day long as well. The primer is also very hydrating and it just sets your skin up for success and now my skin is ready for foundation. So today I'm going to be using a foundation that was insanely popular this year. Ever since it came out, everyone has been talking about this foundation. This is a Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. Now if you're looking for a foundation that's going to be super glowy, super hydrating, this is the one. It's really nice because it has great long wear to it and you also do not have to set it with powder because it dries down all by itself. So if you don't love wearing powders, this foundation is going to work beautifully for you. It has more of a medium coverage, so it's not too full, and it's also not too sheer at all. I mainly love it because it has that glowy finish to it, and it just looks so good on the skin, especially if you don't use powder. I mean, obviously it looks good when you apply powder on top of it, but for me, when I didn't set it, I was just shocked at how good it still looked, even though it wasn't set. And honestly, when this foundation came out, everybody was talking about it this year. It even won the Allure Best of Beauty Award for this year, too. That's how good this foundation is. And then after I apply my foundation with a brush to my face, I always take my beauty sponge and I just tap in the foundation for like a solid minute. This just helps smooth everything out and gives my foundation that flawless look. And if you want your makeup to look amazing in person, definitely do this step. I'm telling you, it is a game changer and I will never not do it because I love this step and it just fills my soul with joy, okay? It really does. I sound stupid, but... <laughs> It's true. Also, if you want to check out any of the makeup products that I've talked about in this video so far, I've linked them all down in the description box for you just in case you want to go ahead and check any of them out. So for concealer, of course, I have to use the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Awakening Concealer. Now this concealer is equally as amazing as the foundation. And isn't the packaging on these two just the cutest? They look like minis of each other. This concealer is really nice, but I do have to say that it's not full coverage at all. It's more on the medium side. So because of that, I'm going to be applying a lot of of concealer under my eyes because I like a full coverage look typically under my eye. So in order to achieve that with this concealer, I just have to apply a lot of it. The concealer is super thin and lightweight though, that is for sure. It does not feel like I have anything on my skin. And also I will say that this concealer does a really good job of lasting all day long. When the concealer first came out over the summer, I wore it in the blazing Florida heat, okay? Outside all day long, I was sweating. I looked a hot mess at the end of the day. That is for sure. But I will say my concealer looked amazing. It did not crease and it held up throughout the day and it was literally the Makeup by Mario concealer. So after that moment, I was like, hmm, maybe this actually is a really good concealer. But man, I do have to say that 2023 has been a crazy year for me, okay? So much has happened, but also at the same time, nothing has happened. It's kind of weird, but I don't know if anyone can relate with that because I really do feel like so much has happened. But really, when I look back, I'm like, but like really what happened? I don't even know, but I am I'm very excited to see what's in store for 2024 because I'm gonna try to make it a great year. Life is crazy and it does whatever it wants sometimes, so we'll find out, I guess. But definitely leave me a comment down below. How was your 2023? Did anything cool happen for you? Did you learn anything cool that I should know? And can you hear when my earring hits my hair clip? It's been annoying me this whole video, but there's been nothing I can do about it. And now I'm gonna set my face with some setting powder, but only in very specific areas, like under my eyes, around my smile lines, my nose, and my T-zone on my forehead. We just wanna block any of the oil coming through, any creasing, anything like that. That's where you place the powder, very specifically in areas where you need it. Now I gotta warm up my face, so I'm going to be using one of my favorite bronzing sticks, and this is the LYS Beauty No Limits Bronzing Stick. I I have the shade Harmony, which is the medium shade. Now let me tell you, this bronzing stick went viral on the internet, okay? And I finally got around to trying it out because it was sold out for so long because of the internet. It 
It's really crazy how the internet can do that. When I tried it out, I was actually shook at how good this formula is. I'm not kidding. This might be my all time favorite bronzing stick. This deserves every single ounce of attention that it received. She is so good. The formula is just so insanely creamy, okay? It blends out without having to use any effort. It goes on top of powder, it goes on top of cream. And for me personally, the shade of this bronzing stick is just amazing. It is everything that I need in a bronzing stick shade. It's very warm, but not too orange. And it has a very beautiful hydrated look to it once you blend it out. And it just makes me look like I was outside on the beach all day long and I got a really nice tan to my skin. And this bronzing stick specifically is so pigmented that sometimes I feel like I don't even have to apply a powder bronzer on top to give it that extra pigment. Because typically that's what I do, but with this, you really don't need that because look at how warm and beautiful my skin looks all thanks to this. Honestly, Liss Beauty did their thing with this bronzing stick. I, I Like, I couldn't ask for anything better. I'm truly obsessed, so I'm very glad that I found this this year and this bronzing stick will stay as a favorite in my collection for so long. I don't even know what could top this bronzing stick for me. That's how much I love this one. But since it's a cream product, I have to go in with my sponge and just tap it in real quick because I am obsessed with doing this and I do it every single time I apply any type of cream on my face. I don't care what it is. I just gotta do it for my own sanity. So smooth, so blended, so flawless. I'm obsessed. Moving on to blush, I have the Patrick Ta Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. This bright Barbie pink blush shade has been everywhere this year, okay? Every single brand has come out with some type of Barbie bright pink blush shade. And in my opinion, I think that Patrick Ta really set everything up with this because this one was the first shade of this bright Barbie pink to really go viral and everyone was obsessed with it. I really like this blush because not only is a formula amazing, but you also get a cream blush and a powder blush. So I'm going to apply it the same way that Patrick Ta recommends himself. So you start off with the powder blush and then you apply it to your cheeks as normal. And honestly, this shade of blush is just so beautiful. I really love this one. I don't think that it looks too bright, which some of the other blushes that have come out with the shade look super neon on your skin. But this one actually is super flattering and it still looks bright and pink, but also not like neon pink, you know? And when I think think of 2023 makeup, I think of this blush color. This blush color will forever haunt me in my dreams. Even though I love this shade of blush, it has just been everywhere this year. Whether it's a powder formula, whether it's a cream formula, liquid formula, you can find this shade in any formula from any brand because that is how viral this shade of blush went this year. It's actually insane. And in 10 years, when people think about 2023 makeup and they start making fun of it, they're gonna think of this blush. They're gonna be like, why did we wear such bright bright pink blush on our cheeks, we looked crazy. So now, once the powder blush is laid down on the cheeks, Patrick Ta likes to go in with a brush and he dips into the cream formula. That's crazy, but I'm gonna try it out today because why not? So now I'm just gonna dab the cream over exactly where I put the powder. And this is just supposed to enhance the glow on the skin because the cream blush is super thin and lightweight. So it just pairs beautifully and looks so gorgeous on the skin while giving your skin that beautiful glow. Patrick Ta, I understand you. I understand what you're going for here. And now you can see I added a little bit of a dewy look to the cheek and I am loving that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna finish up my lower lash line and I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera and then I'll be back for the lip combo. So to finish off this look, we have none other than the lip category left. And 2023 was a year for lip oils. So of course I have to apply a lip oil to my lips. My favorite lip oil out of all of 2023 is the House Labs lip oil. This one is amazing, it's outstanding, and it actually does add a little color to your lips. So that's why I like it, because the Dior is so, so sheer. And it's so expensive, and there's no color payoff. It's like, what am I paying for? The name? Yes, that's exactly what you're paying for. But anyway, I love this one, and it actually has color. But also in the makeup world, Rare Beauty really came for everyone one this year, okay? The Rare Beauty blushes, the Rare Beauty lip oils, the Rare Beauty mascara, the Rare Beauty concealer, the Rare Beauty tinted moisturizer, the Rare Beauty highlighters. I mean, the list goes on and on. Everyone was obsessed with Rare Beauty this year, like insane obsessed. When I think back to 2023 makeup, I'm definitely going to be thinking about Rare Beauty. I would have used the Rare Beauty blush today, but this would not match this look, so. So you know I have to use the Rare Beauty lip oil. I have the shade Honesty. 
and all I did was apply a light nude lip liner to my lips. So I'm gonna go in and apply the lip oil right on top. Very cute. I love this shade. The shade is more of a warm brown, which is exactly right up my alley. I love warm brown lips. It actually has a little bit of a cooling effect, so that's really nice, and it feels really lightweight, and it's not sticky at all. And this Rare Beauty lip oil, actually, when it wears off, it will actually tint your lips just a little bit. So that's actually super unique when it comes to a lip oil. Actually, why not? I'm just gonna apply the House Labs right on top. Why the heck not? And now do you see how juicy my lips look? All thanks to the 2023 specialty of lip oils. That's another thing that I'm going to be thinking about when I think of 2023 makeup lip oils. They really came to slay this year. I mean, every brand also ended up creating a lip oil as well. Honestly, every single brand probably does have some type of variation of a lip oil nowadays. And that's just the way that makeup trends work. And before I go, you know I have to apply the most trendy body cream that you will experience in the year of 2023. Give it up for the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. Specifically, the light pink Beige Flor. This one is so good. I love this one better than the 62, the original. It smells so fresh. Fresh. The consistency in this is super nice and the smell is perfect for every day. It's very light and very florally and it smells so good. Oh my god. But how can you not include Sol de Janeiro in this video? Sol de Janeiro literally conquered the beauty space this year as well. And I know all you girls out there have that spray. I know you do. And that's it. Here is today's final makeup look using the trendiest makeup products from 2023. I had so much fun going back in time and revisiting all the makeup trends that happened this year. We love the trendy world of beauty, okay? It's always changing. There's always something new. And this look was created using my favorite makeup products from 2023. I had so much fun creating this video. There's nothing better than makeup. Of course, as always, I've linked all the products mentioned in this video down in the description box just in case you want to go ahead and check any of them out. And if you enjoyed today's video, you should definitely give it a big thumbs up because it really helps support me and the channel a lot. If you've tried any of these products mentioned in today's video, definitely leave a comment down below what you thought of them because I would love to know what you think. I'll be back next week with a brand new video but until then you can go ahead and binge watch the rest of my videos on my channel so you don't miss me too much until then thank you so much for watching and being here with me today i can't wait to see what 2024 brings and i'm just so grateful that we can end 2023 here together talking about everything makeup thank you so much for watching and i will see you on the next one oh and p.s don't forget to subscribe so that we can become besties love that for us peace out 2023 this one's for you